On this episode of Mythbusters, it's the coolest show on record as the team heads to the high country to blast a blizzard of legends in their first snow special. Awesome. For starters, Jamie and Adam literally try to move a mountain as they attempt to summon up a thunderous avalanche with an alpine song, a bull whip, and some rapid fire. Then, in a probing investigation, our trio finds out if there's any idea dumber than licking a frozen pole. Look, it's starting to rip the flesh. And test if it's safer to drive on icy roads backwards. Are you trying to get how many cones you can knock over? Who are the Mythbusters? Adam Savage. Ow, 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 ow. And Jamie Heineman. It's almost too exciting. Between them, more than 30 years of special effects experience. Cue dramatic music. Joining them, Carrie Byron, Grant Imahara. Listen to that baby purr. And Tori Bellici. Paramedics are nowhere to be found. They don't just tell the myths, they put them to the test. Gather around the hot tub, folks. It's going to be glacial. So what's the myth? Well, we are dressed for cold weather, and that's good, because we're going to test whether or not you can start an avalanche by yodeling. So it's time to get those vocal cords ready. You think I can yodel? I know you can. You think I'm going to yodel? No, I don't. <laughs> this alpine myth is as old as the hills. Can this beloved form of melodious mountain song set off a mighty avalanche? The idea isn't as nonsensical as it sounds. In previous audio experiments, the guys proved that sound waves from the human voice are powerful enough to shatter glass and even extinguish a flame. Now, using the same notion in this ultimate auditory myth, we're going to try to bring a mountain to its knees. You know, if we're doing myths on avalanches, we need to go to the mountains. I think you're right. I think we will. But first, why don't we try some scale experiments here in the shop, see what we can learn about them before we go. Sure, why not? 